Hey what's up guys this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm gonna be making a walkthrough of Color OS ROM which stands for I think OS stands for operating system even though this is a, a based on Android which is uh, an operating system itself but uh, <clears throat> during this walkthrough I will call this ROM actually an operating system even though it's based on Android which is also an operating system uh, but uh, you know, it looks, it seems to be more familiar to me to call it like that because it's um, not something that you've seen before. It's something different, something thrilling. You'll find uh, some widgets that you didn't even know that uh, about, like the camera widget, uh, which I'll be discussing later. Um, I'm gonna be getting, I gonna, I will show you, I will tell you all the bugs, I mean, the major bugs of this ROM because they are and those make um, the ROM not suitable for daily usage uh, <coughs> although let's uh, although this is a cold ROM um, this um, benefits of uh, having also some beautiful theme apps like um, they like developers do uh, make on uh, MIUI for example um, UnOS and so on um, So let's get into real business. Let's get into some apps like uh, I will begin with the settings app and let's just make the Make it mute. Let's just make let's just mute the system So about phone as you may see color OS as I told you it is based uh, on 4.2.2 so this is Jelly Bean, if I'm not mistaken. Jelly Bean, yes. 4.2.2 and 4.3 were Jelly Bean, 4.4 was Kit Kat, and 5.2 was Lollipop. Yes. So this is based on Jelly Bean, which is a really old and version. And this is also what you get here: the hardware info and uh, other other info, hardware informations um, the most thing you the first thing you'll notice while if you want to flash this uh, ROM and go into all of its features is that you can't access mobile network if you're using a sim protected uh, um, by pin by pin code no you can't access mobile data nor the mobile data or the calling uh, or sending SMS's network itself um, apart from that this doesn't seem to have that uh, much of a lag or so many bugs I have played with a little bit with it a little bit before proceeding to the, to the walkthrough and uh, to be honest this is a custom team also they have a market uh, custom apps custom themed apps so doesn't give me an impression of uh, being not a stable ROM but there are some bugs that uh, as I told you before uh, won't make this uh, phone as uh, good as a daily driver so let's get into some apps like the phone app for example as you may observe these beautiful animations let's just take a look from the side like this these beautiful animations that pop up really quickly this is the task manager this is how it looks like iPhone -ish style a little bit of lag here but yeah not such a big deal I'll stay like I'll put it like this just to show you how it performs sideways yeah, like drifting, yeah, so this is how it looks from the sides, but we'll just keep it like this. So I told you about the camera widget, which I reckon you didn't know about. So if I just press this, as you may see, this is moving actually, so this is a camera widget. You can just take a quick picture and then it will go up here. How cool is that? So whatever you go here, you can view your image and you can share it all deleted like this <coughs> this will bring you again into the uh, 
on ads menu so theme store is something that you want to you want to take into consideration because it gives you the ability to customize to fully customize your user interface like the Samsung Galaxy S6 does the music application is a very devoted one developed one whoa nice chicks okay and it gives you we can what the heck is this I don't have this gives you all of your online music and uh, the one the mp3s that are stuck on your internal either internal or ex external SD card uh, another bug that I have noticed is that you can't get into the lock screen like this so if you just unlock your device and then I'll lock your device and then unlock it you won't see any kind of lock screens I can't think find a fix for that battery manager percent you we have power saving mode which of course will dim out the brightness and one one up one widget of course along with an application that caught my attention was the what what wetter sorry what 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 put a little bit of it's a little bit wet 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 wetter this is the wid widget and it gives you this fresh animation so it's raining in Bucharest right now and it gives you this fresh animation of how it performs and if you have your device on sound like this you open this sorry you'll get this sound how cool is that so yeah really nice touch Either way, you can slide down to activate multiple toggles. NFC, let's turn it off. So the Wi Fi and the end all application button. Well, let's get into the uh, all the apps. So, clock app, work clock, timer, and stopwatch. Very nice. So whether we've been through that, notes, files, lock now, we have a shortcut to lock our device. Theme, music, video, photos, messages. So I can't send any message to me because just to show you how a notification looks like. Because as I told you, you can't access mobile data if you have a working SIM code protecting your your pin code protecting your scene. The camera app is the default uh, one from CM, I guess. Setting so mode. Play Store, Cloud Service, System Update. So every um, your current version is the latest. Tools, calculator. Yeah. Um, as you may notice, this ROM is really based on a blurriness, blurriness user interface, blurred blurriness. What the fuck is wrong with my English? Blurred user interface, flashlight. Yeah, so it's working. Mm. ESP Manager News and Weather, Messenger, Google Plus, and other gaps that you will also get with the Google app packages. Um, apart from that, I don't know what to say more about this one because you can't really test it because as I told you, the, it has some bugs that limit the, not the performance, but the usability, usability of this uh, is operating system this is the operating system that usually works with the Oppo devices um, I guess so but there were also some devices like uh, 
Oh, I don't know. I have a big lapses right now. 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 2 devices. For example, the Ron Color OS. And uh, to be fair, it looks perfectly fine for me. But not with these box that I have mentioned earlier so well, that was it for today guys I hope you like it if you did make sure you click the like button not only for the girls in the background but for my video if you like it and make sure you press also the subscribe button it helps me motivating uh, keeps me motivating doing this uh, kind of video so thank you for watching guys Tender8 is out bye bye